were saddened by the continuous increase in attacks where persons with albinism were targeted and attacked for their body parts. Um, in May, on the 19th of May, a two years old girl was attacked in the province and the left hand was chopped off. And uh, this month, July, we have recorded another case in eastern province where a nine years old, girl, a nine -year -old boy was also attacked and uh, the finger was chopped off. We are very saddened and we are concerned about the increase in the attacks. We have noted that one, the attacks are shifting towards children. The two years old girl in, from Northern Province has become the youngest victim so far whom we have recorded. We have seen that the attacks are going towards children and therefore we want to send a message to the parents and the guardians to children with albinism that can they please make sure that they take care of their children because our children are at risk. Please uh, make sure that uh, you know where they are, whom they are playing with, when they are moving, and just keep an eye on our children because they are being targeted. We have also noticed that the attacks have concentrated on the districts that are on the borderline with other countries. Uh, for instance, uh, Eastern Province, which is a border with Malawi, and Northern Province, which is a border with Tanzania. So we, have, we, are, we are seeing these trends and we suspect that these attacks also have an aspect of board, uh, trafficking of body parts. And we suspect that sometimes there may be some collaborations from people uh, from Zambia and people from other countries like Malawi and Tanzania. Therefore, we are urging the police to collaborate with uh, the police in these countries like Malawi and Tanzania as they are doing the investigations.